Hey, it's Reggie with Vista Social. This video is going to be focused on the Meta Business Manager. We'll be focusing on how you can request access for your client's Facebook page and Instagram account, whether they're using the Business Manager or not. So let's dive in, we'll start with the first scenario. Let's say you're using the Business Manager and they are as well. So you'll probably wanna send over this instructions to them. They'll wanna be logged into their Business Manager. They'll head over to the Partners tab and click on add. So you'll wanna make sure that they have your Meta Business ID here so that they can type that in, whether you're the agency managing, the marketer that's managing their account, and they'll get to this page. Now, there, there's two things that they're gonna to need to do. The first is under either new page experience or classic page, whatever type of page they have, they'll wanna select their page right here. And we can scroll down to the bottom and select this one. It'll turn on everything and then we can turn on revenue as well. It's really important, all of the switches get turned on. You need to make sure that you're having full access, admin access. It's important so that you can connect to third-party tools like Vista Social. And then before they click on Save Changes, they'll wanna head over to the Instagram Accounts tab, select their Instagram business profile, and if they select the content, it'll already take care of a couple of switches. You'll just need to make sure that they turn on the Insights one as well. Once they click Save, those assets get added to your business manager. They've already granted you access. And we can head over to your business manager now and you go to pages, you'll see that you've been granted access to this page as well as to the Instagram account. Just make sure that you're also adding yourself or any of your team members who are going to be overseeing this profile or this page. It's important because they are the ones who are gonna be doing the connection to Vista Social. So in this case, if Reggie's going to be connecting this profile or this page to Vista Social, you need to make sure that they get full access as well to both the Instagram account and to the Facebook page as well. And we'll go ahead and do that. We'll turn on everything here for Reggie and assign. Now, once the client has added you as a partner with full access and you've assigned a team member with full access to both the Facebook page and Instagram business profile, you'll now be able to start connecting this profile on this page to Vista Social. So what if your client doesn't use the business manager and you still wanna get their Facebook page, you still wanna get their Instagram access to, into your business manager, what do you do? Well, it's a little bit different. We'll start on your business manager instead. We'll head over to pages to start. We'll click add, request access to a page. And you're gonna put in the URL for that page right there. And again, you're gonna be selecting all of the different check boxes and switches. You wanna make sure that you're requesting all the permissions there. And you'll click on request access. Now the owner of that page will now re receive a notification. It'll be under their page settings, under account access. Just make sure that they approve that. And it's important that they do that first before you move on to the next step. If you try to start adding the Instagram account now before they approve it, you'll run into some error messages. Once they do, we'll click on add and then you'll click on connect Instagram account. You'll need to have their Instagram credentials. It's very important, username and password. Once you click on here, it'll ask you to log in. But that's it, if you're using the business manager as an agency or as a social media manager, you wanna make sure that you follow these steps in order to get access from your client and be able to delegate that access to your team and connect these profiles to Vista Social. If you run into any issues or have any questions, make sure to reach out to our support team, we're here to help.